I think for me is about appreciating nature. So when I'm out there, I want to capture the colors of the various rock formations or snow or rivers or forests that are around me. So the kind of shots I want to capture are basically panning shots. They could be from left to right, bottom to top, and so on and so forth. So when I am out there in nature, this is usually how I am hiking around. I have my camera anchored to my backpack and I am just basically walking slowly as I am going on the trails. So the main accessory I need is a way to secure my camera to my backpack and it's called, it's from a company called Peak Design and what it does is it provides a nice secure anchor to my uh, to the strap of my backpack and that allows me to anchor my camera using this base plate here so this is a base plate which just slips in and anchors nicely to the backpack strap and when I'm ready to take pictures or video all I got to do is press this button here which releases the camera from the base plate and the camera slides off quite easily and now I'm ready to take pictures, video, whatever I want. Now securing the strap of the camera to my chest strap here ensures that the camera doesn't fall accidentally and hit the ground and damage it. Now if I want to just take pictures then all I got to do is turn on the camera and take a shot. Now if I want to capture video then I like to capture as stable video as possible and in order to stabilize it I use a stabilizing grip like this and the way I use it is I have to slide the camera and lock it onto the top of the grip like this and there is a knob here that I can use to lock the camera onto the top. And now the camera is stable and I can use both my hands to stabilize the camera. And even more stabilization can be achieved by pressing it against my face. And now I can see through the viewfinder and I can pan around and capture the vistas around me. And this minimizes the shake that the camera would normally have if you were to just use your normal camera with a hand like this. Now you can use one more trick to stabilize your video which is shooting the video at 60 frames a second so that if accidentally despite all your precautions you still get shaky footage then in editors you can basically slow down the footage at 30 frames per second and the footage will look l much less shaky. So instead of going like this, it will go like this and it will appear to be more stable. Now when you are hiking in extremely cold weather, like below freezing temperatures, you might have noticed that the camera batteries don't last very long. They might die unexpectedly in a much shorter period of time once they get cold. So you need a way to keep extra spare batteries in your pockets and keep them warm. So the way I solve that problem is to wear a mid-layer jacket like this which has ample pocket space and I keep the spare batteries in my pocket close to my core of the body which will keep it warm and I will even put extra hand warmers inside the pocket which will even increase the temperature of the inner pocket here and hopefully the batteries will stay functioning for a longer period of time and then since you are wearing a top layer over the mid layer it protects to keep the warmth even further by covering it like this so that the outside cold doesn't come in and the inside body temperature keeps the pockets even warmer. Now here comes the tricky part. Let's say that you've been shooting out there in the cold weather for 10 minutes and the battery suddenly starts dying because of the cold temperatures. If you have positioned 
is the base plate in such a manner that it keeps the door open for your camera uh, for the camera battery then you can easily open it take the battery out and replace it with the spare battery and you're ready to go again however the key to being able to open the door completely so that you can take the battery out depends on how you position this base plate here there is enough play in the base plate so that you can slide it to the extreme right to allow the battery compartment door to open nicely if you don't do that then it will block the battery compartment now the uh, measurements of each uh, camera will change and whether this base plate will function properly for your camera or not depends on the model that you have so you will have to try it out and hope for the best that you can open the battery compartment quickly like I can otherwise it's nearly impossible when you're wearing heavy gloves and stuff like that to take this screw out and being able to take the base place out just to put the new battery in that's going to be a big obstacle in being able to change the batteries quickly in cold weather now if you prefer to shoot with a phone rather than a camera then here are some of the options that you can use to extend the life of the battery you can still anchor the phone on top of a grip that i had that i showed you before and it helps you to capture the video by stabilizing the phone it's very hard to hold the phone normally but with the grip in one hand and your second hand on the other corner of the phone you basically provide two anchor points and now you can pan the surrounding much more stab stably the second advantage of using a grip rather than a gimbal is that you can basically uh, buy a backup battery like this which already has a connector at the end so that eliminates the need for any wires to be connected to the phone and you can simply plug in the backup battery into the phone now if you're shooting in extremely cold climate with your phone then you can put the main backup battery in the warmth of your pocket here and then connect a wire to the battery like this and then hook the other end of the connector to the phone one of the main advantages of using a hand grip instead of a gimbal with the phone is that you can connect a backup battery from the warmth of your pocket to the phone directly so the backup battery will continue functioning while it is still being warm and protected by the outer layers in the extreme cold climate and then you can also stabilize and uh, pan the shots of the surroundings around you it may not be as good as the gimbal but it will be fairly adequate so a phone is a versatile tool to carry on extremely long hikes because it is so light and easy to carry and with the hand grip and stabilizing a phone is much uh, more a versatile tool than a real camera but you won't get the good color quality or the zooming that is possible with a real camera but anyway it's up to you to decide what works best for you.